coming out, like I said, benefits greatly from the right click bonus from the draw ranger. It means he can zip zap in after the winter's curse has been dropped. He'll try and do some harassment, do a little bit of disruption on the back lines. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Jakiro is going to be the final ban by just the squad. Apart from, again, benefiting from the draw ranger. Also great, we, we saw the ice paths and macro paths coming out. It's just, it's it's good all around utility here. You know, it's great support, a great learning support into a pushing support. So, ten seconds remaining. Yeah, not surprising that that, that spot up there by just a squad. It looks like Five it is the final support remaining. to be picked up by VGA Storm. The position five, making sure they get all the cores in first before these bands can come out. Just got themselves just under a minute for this final, this final ban. Or just over a minute for the final ban on the final pick, but anyway, with the, the extra time they'll get for the pick. Dire team pick. You ban out the Queen of Pain. Does work against the Storm Spirit. Who's this final pick going to be? Ten seconds remaining. Fifth position. Lion still in there, still really Five effective, really powerful. Remaining. Rubik, if you can get steal the Winter's Curse with the Clockwork, are you kidding me? That would be absolutely baller. Disruptor, disruptor still in there. Could be good for trying to deal with. Um, a couple of the Shrek, the Winter Warrior, maybe the Bloodseeker as well. You know, being able to glimpse back the Sand King once he tries to blink and burrow strike in. Anybody that gets close to the Riot Ranger just gets pushed back as well. So VGJ Storm. Radiant team pick. Bane. The Bane. Okay, yeah, benefits again. It's another range here, so benefits from the draw. Got the Brain Sap for the Harassed Nightmare to set up things like the Wind Ranger's Shackles, the Power Shot Storm Spray coming in for the Vortex Clockworks Hook. So a lot of potential coming in there. Just a squad though. Ten seconds remaining. Got themselves, again, just under a minute Five for this final pick. Remaining. And... I'm assuming, unless the Lushrak's going to go into the off lane, it's going to be the Bloodseeker and the safe lane, Lushrak into the mid, Sand King and Winter Wyvern as the support. Um, just looking for this final, this final pick up here. Could even be the Bloodseeker mid, Lushrak and the safe lane. I speak for the trees. Who's your hero? I have no idea where this is going. Okay, Scourge is going to be playing Bloodseeker. Sketch on the Shrek, so it is going to be the middle of Shrek. Uh, Bloodseeker in the safe lane. Evident. Then the Nature's Prophet. Versatile on the positive 5 winter wire. And Chives on the Sun King. Meanwhile, Snaking is on the wind range. We've got MSS on the Clockwork. Resolution picks up the draw. YS on the Storms. Right, and SVG on the Bane. How quickly can BGG Storm look to try and take control of this game? That is what they've got to be doing. They've got a lot of burst potential. You know, they've got a lot of control coming out here. They need to be taking this game before just the squad comes online. Bloodseeker doesn't take much. Sketch really doesn't take much. Evidence a little bit more up there. Might go for the Hand of Midas, you know, and start going for, towards, like, the Orchid. Um, the Hex, stuff like that. Versatile. Maybe needs Mana Boots Blink Dagger, as well as the Sand King.
Prepare oh. for the battle. Stream title. Yeah. Should have done that. That's my bad. That's my bad. Okay, so we're in. We're in the way, PGA Storm. So it is going to be sketchy. There's not going to be any fancy tri lanes. Fancy aggressive tri lanes. It is going to be. Is the Wendy playing the. Looks like she's just playing the lane support. Lockwork might go for a little bit of a row. Or may even move down here with the Bane on this bottom lane. That's resolution. Chasing the trees away. But yeah, Windranger. It's... Not a lot of Agi coming out from the Draw Ranger straight away. She has got the Wraithbound queued up. It looks like the swap in lanes, it is going to be the... Snaking on the Windranger, MSS. Up here to protect him, help him out. Up against the Sand King as well as the Nature's Prophet. And Drow has to, now to move down to the bottom lane. Bane is going to be a little bit alone, SG, F, SVG. Needs to just be careful. He's going to be forced away from this one rune. Once again, we got ourselves a little bit of a rune trade-off here. So. SVG. With the Drow. I mean, I suppose it's good. Once you get to level 2, you get the Nightmare. So if... Anybody gets any funny ideas, you know, versatile Scourge get ideas about stepping up against Resolution. You can just Nightmare help the Drought run away. Charge gets down the, the ward. Power Shot's going to be off the mark, though. Charge's going to do a little bit of uh, cog farming. A bot lane. Resolution's going to be taking harass already from the Arctic Burn coming off from Versatile Storm. What are they going to be able to do here? Scourge is going to be forced back by the double range. Harass coming out from both Resolution as well as SVG. So that is going to be pretty big, keeping Scourge back, even with, or especially with this Blood Rage coming out that he tried to heal himself up with. TP comes down from the Sand King now as well. Just needs that little bit of extra lane support. Chives is there. Maybe they want to try and make a go of Scourge, checking the bonus damage from the Blood Rage. It's, 40, it's 25%, 40% at level 4. Okay. Versatile. Yeah, the harass is real. SVG Chives comes out. Is the Boros Strike going to be in range? It is. The right clicks now as well. Versatile does have the Arctic Burn up in the next second or so. May pop this. Slows down SVG. The Nightmare comes out onto the Bloodseeker. But this could still be the first blood. SVG Chives going for the chase. Doesn't have the mana. Does should have it with a Mango. And Chives secures the first blood. Going to be going the way of Sand King. And now Resolution just being forced back. This Bane needs to come back in. The top lane. MSS is going to be coming in. He's got the battery assault as well as the cogs. Evident has been left alone. Battery assault not being charged up just yet. MSS keeping hold of that. Evident trying to do what he can. Ball lane. Once again, SVG comes in close. But with the pull. Scourge should be able to find a decent amount of farm once again. Just takes down the creeps in the um, the neutral camp. So this, these lanes will start to push back out if he lets the creeps fall a minute at least. Back to the lane. Make sure they don't go underneath the tier 1 tower. And all of a sudden it gets that just a little bit harder for resolution. Once the lane starts to push back towards the radiant tier 1. Or top lane, Everton. Just back under, underneath his tier one, snaking, trying to come in with the Ross. <coughs> Excuse me. As uh, mid lane, we've not taken a look at this just yet. Sketch has taken a load of damage, but is this going to be the bottle flying out now? It's just going to be, well, it's a null tally, as well as a clarity. The Bro Strike comes down. It could be once again the Bane in trouble. SVG throws out the Nightmare early, but it's going to be thrown onto the Winter Wyvern now as well. So. Chase is on, Chives once again, no borrow strike, gonna be caught up in the... It just was, yeah, SVG's just, SVG's just dead. With the call embrace, just blocking him in there. There was no way, he, could, he couldn't go anywhere. What was he supposed to do? Or die, I suppose that's what he was supposed to do, and that's what happened. Just a squad though, Shackle's not gonna latch Everdeen.
He's going to be able to make his way back down now. It looks like Chives comes in from the back. Resolution needs to be careful. It's mid lane. Storm. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, well, Storm for VGJ. Storm could go down. He's being chased down. The lightning comes out. The fairy fire saves his life. The split earth. Not going to be in range. And Sketch needs to be careful because this is a tier 1 tower. But he's diving underneath. And now Storm needs to heal himself up with the bottle charges that he's got. But Chase is going to come in. SVG. The bonus strike's going to be there. Scourge comes in as well. He's got the right clicks. The blood rage comes out because all three heroes doing damage. So Scourge is going to go with the chase. So right clicks finishes him off. And now we're in range. A TP's down to the bot lane. The shift in the lanes. He got taken down. Evident. Evident. No, he, he respawned. That's why he's. But yeah, Evident got killed off. That's a pretty big deal. Winter Ranger picking up a kill, TPing down to the bot lane, just get a little bit of fun, the cold embrace, this is going to be the blood rights, caught up into the trees, finds a little gap, and just backs himself towards the tier 1 tower. Scourge just buys out the treads now as well, so the chase is available, the nightmare comes out, I think Winter Warren, this is going to be, should be the kill, no man of the power shot, but... With the brain sap, the right clicks, they do find the kill. Me on top lane's charged. There's going to be the battery talk about it. Bonus strikes to get away from it. And just keeps leading M MSS on, it looks like. Yep, Cogs, he's underneath the tier 1 tower. The village could be right clicking the Cogs. MSS being harassed by Chives, the TP going to be coming in, there is a Burrow Strike to keep him locked down if they need to now as well, TP coming in from Evident, it looks like this could be a kill to MSS, just caught out in the wrong neighbourhood. Being baited around by Chives, as the rest of his team buy time, buys time for them to come in and now the Dry Ranger once again being left solo. Bane, TP's up. Alright, just gonna pause. Hopefully it's not a... Yeah, it's just gonna disconnect. Hopefully it's not too long. So, 4 to 2. It's 4 to 2, 6 minutes into the game. Take a look at the items while we get a quick break. I mean, I know we're only 6 minutes in, but we'll still take a look at the items. Net worth, 1k advantage going away just the squad. Okay, it's reconnected. We got ourselves a go. We've got 3 heroes from just the squad up on this top lane. I think it's Bane midcast. No, he's not. That's just his animation. Chives coming around the back. If they force this underneath the tier 1 tower. Just a squad might be able to find a kill. The active burn is going to come out. There's going to be the sprout coming out as well. The TP going to come in from the MSS. Nightmare off the Chives. It has been cancelled now. Cogs. It just forces the Winter Wyvern back now. With the battery still versatile. Might be taking down the Golden Brace. But it leaves himself in a little bit of a sticky situation. The Boros Strike though cancels MSS's aggression. Still finds it with the, the battery assault. And that charge might go down. One more right click. Trying to use the one charges. MSS finds himself a double. Could be a triple with the nightmare. Those MSS could be brave coming back into this. With the cogs just to force him away. Everton with the TP. Not going to be in time. Scourge does come in. He's got three points into the thirst. He's going to be able to chase down at least MSS. Finds himself a kill. Wouldn't be surprised. Wagon's going to go back to the bottom lane. A snaking is level 7. The focus fire does come out. First attack. With a splinter's blast as well as the arctic burn. But it's still half and it's still going. Snaking could have taken a couple of right clicks from the tower. As well as another splinter blast. We want top lane. Did they go into SVG? Caught out. Blood right's going to be there. Sounds up. The right clicks. Scourge is on a 3 killing spree. Three kill killing spree. 46 last hits. Seven and a half minutes into the game. Top of the net worth. Resolution. Can't do anything though. Bot lane. Snaking's going to trace down. Those are going to be the shackles going to come through as well. Winter Wyvern needs to run himself away. Versatile. But we all know how much he likes to die. But can he get himself out of this this time? 
into the trees, just flying himself around. No TP. Snaking's gonna try and do it. Power shots the wrong way. And now Versatile crawling his way out of these trees. Snaking, don't go about Kin. Oh, he's gonna try and bite out the sketch to get in there. Cold embrace the light in the split earth. Ultimate gets popped. Oh, the tier 1 tower took a dive from the top lane as well. Resolution's gonna try and do it again with three heroes being up here. Storm as well. Fuse comes in. Charge. He's got silenced up, so can't get the bonus strike. Scourge being chased down. Right click. So this is gonna be the blood right. It looks like Scourge will be taking a fall. Resolution does pick up that kill. So seven and six, eight minutes in. Both mid laners rotating to help find a kill. Jackal. Well, that doesn't latch. But that does. The trains. SVG just being slowly chipped away at the blood rate. Uh, blood rage even being popped onto the wind range. If he could try and get a second kill, SVG up onto the high ground, still being chased. Going to try and deny himself to the ancients. Is he going to be there in tight? Does Scourge picks up that kill and the lightning bounces through. Sneaking just needs to pick up and go. Moving himself back. Scourge, though, he's got all the speed in the world. Instead, the up for a shrine. So now... Bloodseeker... It's gonna go straight for the blade mount. It's great up against the hero, like... Wind Ranger, once she starts throwing that focus fire on you, you just pop the blade mail and she right clicks herself to death. You know, it's great against the Storm Spirit as well, uh, for similar reasons. The remnants, you just you, you walk into them, or if they're thrown and you can't get away from them, the blade mail will do so much damage to him. DJ stacking up, but MSS as well as Resolution in the um, near the Ancients, in the top side of the map. But Everdin comes in, he's got himself some treants. Could go for the push onto the tier one tower. MSS trying to do what he can with the cogs. Will be enough, but it looks like Scourge just wants to be pushing top. Do you see the draw? The TP is there anything to cancel this? Yeah, the Boros Strike does come through. Even now, the Arctic Burn chives chives. Finds the kill onto Resolution, and Resolution has died once. Picked up two kills. But as far as it goes, Drow Ranger being in third. Level seven. And here the Storm Spray's diving around onto Everton. Everton's gonna be able to get himself away. The hook comes in, MSS. Able to find that kill. Just needed to close the gap to provide the extra damage, and with the Diabolic Deed it cut up every few seconds, this tier 2 tower will fall. Wind Ranger looking for a bit of a trade, but not near, anywhere near as close. Have the fortification, do they just keep going here, just a squad? Or is anyone going to TP back trying to help defend this tier 2 tower? Everything has come in, needs to be careful about the shackles, just being in the woods. But the Treant's going to be fed up, and this is a little bit of gold. That's, that's, even if you get all four, that's still like, what, 80 gold? Roughly there and thereabouts. So he could dive himself into the trees, the power shot, Evan, just hide himself around in the trees. Wait for the rest of his team to do something, maybe come and back him up. Maybe just to look for the deny and then TP out. Ooh, so close to getting it. Bane's only level 5, so no Fiend's Grip available for him, whereas... Versatile is only level 5, so no Winter's Curse for him. But they just gave away a tier 2 tower for free. I know they're doing farming, I know they're doing farmy things. But it's a little bit of map control you give up there, it's a little bit of access to your your jungle. I'm really surprised to give that up, to be honest. Storm Spirit dives in, finds Chives with the Boros Strike, should be able to help get Sketch, not if there's a hook like that. Cog's been dropped, Storm Spirit, he takes down Sketch, look back in the jungle for Chives. Being chased down, the TP's gonna come in from the Wind Ranger now as well, everybody else apart from Everdin. Damn, the Fiends Grip now available, Winter's Curse not able to be used as Everdin. He needs to defend this tier 3 tower, and this is the thing, 
The lane was pushing in. Evan couldn't be there. You take a bad team fight, and all of a sudden the game is turned on its head. Latika got himself the blade mail. Gonna go towards the BKB. Sees MSS. Doesn't have the rupture though. Blade mail's gonna be there. The power shot comes through. It's good. Getting pretty low with the rest of the team. The shackles not gonna latch. Lightning split earth. One more right click. Evident will secure that kill onto MSS. Turn around. Evident, what's he gonna be able to do? The nightmare. The borrow strike does come through though. It looks like maybe able to secure the kill onto the bane. She'll be able to get it onto the wind ranger as well. Yet yeah, sketch gets that kill. Another chase onto SVG. Borrow strike. No mana for that. Well, maybe, maybe with the stick charges, he'll have enough. SVG just buying time. It comes through. Gonna be split by the tower, which may be best case scenario for SVG though. Invisibility. Turn after them. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Lashrak, he's in this. He sees the storm. There's gonna be a winter wyvern rotating in, but storm has the mana. Versatile, yes, but that's not going to go. He's actually going to try and make it go into Versatile, but Sketch is here. He's just waiting for him to drain the mana. The Colden Breaks going to come up, Split Earth. Lightning bounces through now as well. Stone Spirit trying to get himself away, but just jumps himself straight into a spell, and then we'll be able to dive away after that. Boros Strike does come in. They're going to be able to find themselves at least a Clockwork. It's not a bad trade. You know, it's all about settling. You aim for the Stone Spirit. But you'll take a clockwork. Snaking. He's got himself the maelstrom. Going towards a blink is a decent way off that. His resolution. Radiance top tower is yeah, start to catch up on that worth. That's going to be really good once he can get himself into the position. Talking about getting into position, SVG on the top lines of Thieves Crypto. It's going to be the Yule Scepter coming out, though. Split Earth. They're going to be able to find this kill onto the Bane. Even with that Brain Sap. Find him a little bit of time. And sneaking. He just runs away. Once again, you made your bed. Have your Nightmare inside of it. Jive's Shackle. That's a... Decent Ryan shackle that just to keep Scourge from being able to go into Wendy. Oh, I've been waiting up onto the high ground, seeing if there's any rotations through. Anybody to come and help push out this mid lane once again. Waiting there with the Winter's Curse. It's evident. Are scanning. Got himself the Blightstone. That's pretty neat. Gonna go towards... Is that a Blade Mill of Zone? Oh! The Diamond Storm Sprit, but... We're gonna be able to find himself Trance. And not the Prophet itself. Chives. Could be in a little bit of trouble. Three heroes down in the raiding side of the jungle. But 16 minutes in, 14 to 11, this is not where VGJ Storm needed to be. They needed, not map control, but they needed the net worth. They need everything to be on in their favor at the minute because the Draw Ranger is susceptible to dropping off. So if it doesn't even get up and started, then things get really damn tricky on the side of VGJ Storm. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Sketch is keeping this lane pushed in. Snake and can come in to try and push it back out. Yeah, Rezo is forced to go to the other side of the, the map to try and look for farm because if he gets caught out, he's dead. D E D. Regeneration. Shankin got his blink dagger yet, he's about 500 gold away from being able to complete that. That is going to be massive for these fights. Going to be able to get him with the epicenters from a distance. Or a strike through, maybe trying to disrupt the pain anytime he throws out the Fiend's Grip. 
We can ask Evidence, just going to be able to TP himself away. Gets the blade mail. Oh, resolution mid lane. The power shot comes through. They are going to be able to kill off Chives. The hook, the find, the winter wire, and versatile going to try and fly himself over. Will be able to get himself down to the low ground through the Roshan pit. TP's away. Power shot sees him, but Bane isn't there in time. SVG can't cancel that off. And <laughs> Sketch. Getting cheeky. Needs to be careful snaking. The TPs are going to be coming in. The wind range is there. Shackle, latches, power shot comes through. This is going to be a dead sketch. Storm Spirit dives onto Everton as well. This is just worse. They're looking for the advantage here, Storm. Just being able to pick off these heroes when they're caught out. Now MSS with the haste will be able to come across Chives. Throws the battery soul out. Maybe want to try and turn on this. The burst Strike is going to be a double one. The MPC is being channeled. There's no more mana on the Storm Spirit. And now they are going to be able to find that kill. At least MSS can pick it up after the fact. The rupture comes out, Storm. Uh, MSS. With his curse. Keeps him locked down. And the right clicks him out. Easy kill. But the net worth has started to swing the way of BGJ Storm. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Level 15. Uh, as far as heroes go, he is the top level. It's pretty much where you want to be sitting as a draw ranger. Net worth. Again, not too... F well, he's actually top of the net worth now, just from doing this little bit of jungle Dyer's farming while the Bloodseeker was looking for attack. kills, looking around the map. Yeah, going to be stacking up here just a squad as a four man. Are they going to be able to find anything from this though? Maybe. See the Bane Warden. See if they make a go on this. He's going to be coming down to the low ground. Wind Ranger, the Borrow Strike Blink Dagger has been revealed. The Nightmare though may be saving his life. Snaking being spun up in the earth. And now the Blood Rite should be able to pop. Snaking going to be taken down. Scourge will be good. Claims that one. SVG in the trees. We save it for Scourge. To add to his vault of kills. To go with his vault of money. And now inside the Roshan Pit. No buyback on the Wind Ranger or the Bane, so at least 30 seconds before it's going to be a full team for VGJ Storm. And Rosh just saying, let's go check it. Well, the Sprout comes out. They're going to be spotted there from the, the Rocket Flirt, and Scourge needs to be able to get himself away. The Silence, the right clicks. They take down the Sand King. Storm zips in. But everybody's already away. Maybe just don't have the damage just yet, just as to be able to pick up the Roshan kill. But they're going to smoke, retry for this. The ward has Radiant's been taken care of. Or faded off, at least. Bloodright Hagar. Sand King's going to be coming back up. Radiant's middle tower has been denied. Of the wood. Radiant are scanning. And we're going to get smoke on smoke. Action. It's VGJ Storm. Looks to wrap around behind. The Fiend's Grip's there. All of the ultimates are up. The hook's available as well. If you can knock someone out of the rest of just the squads. Just knock them out of the vicinity of the rest of the team. You can get pick-off after pick-off here. And Chives could be the target. Low ground, the Mystic Flood. The, Mystic Flood, the uh, Rocket Flood does reveal him, but he gets a blink away. Meanwhile, Resolution takes down Versatile. And now it's Storm's turn. To look towards the Roshan pit, the, even the focus fire being used here. Weapon but fires back. And it's off. Evident TPs into the pit, gets the sprout off. Nobody there to be caught out. There is a DD room bot. If anybody maybe wants to look to rotate down to pick that up. And this is what we're gonna get a little bit of posturing coming out from both teams. The rocket float comes back in. There's gonna be the storm spirit jumping in. What are we gonna be able to do here? He's gonna be able to catch the winter wyvern in the vortex. That was a buyback on the winter wyvern. So it's gonna be three heroes going down. But Scourge does pick up the Aegis. Maybe trying to go for a kill here. MSS, what's he gonna be able to do with the BKB? Pop winter wyvern. Uh, Wind Ranger. 
excuse me, gets her health back from killing off the Bloodseeker. And now they're setting up once again the silence from the Gust. Bloodseeker has been blood sought and killed off. Evan and blink up onto the high ground. Snaking is here. Does he have the shackle? Up in three seconds. Just going to carry and chase him now. Silenced off and might be able to get this kill. Will it be enough with the soul burn? The nightmare saves the life of the Wind Ranger. And Evan gets the kill. Okay, he got vision and the nature's wrath. Just as well. Yeah, takes down Windy. But it does mean that was effectively six kills going the way of VGJ Storm with the buyback of the Winter Wyvern. Now VGA Storm starting to take the lead, starting to stack that net worth up. I actually got the full Roshan kill. It was... Okay, so the Dyer and Scudge snatched it. So they still get the XP, they still get the gold for killing Roshan, they just didn't get the Aegis. Which, I mean, I suppose it's, there's worse case scenarios than having it being snatched and then instantly getting the double kill on it. Snaking finds himself the invis. He's already got that 100 plus 100 damage on the power shot as well. Taking that up to 550. Radiance top tower he might find the bay. Attack. No, SVG is just going to TP himself away. Yeah, there are pings, but we just can't find the vision. The sprout's not going to be there in time to split Earth. Top tower. It looks like Storm want to be stacking up for this tier 2 tower push potential as I think TPs were just used. Oh, it's just, just the bay. So there's no TPs to try and look for the bay. So all five of just as well TPs are available. Tier 2 tower though. It's going to be a quick one. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It looks like VGA Storm are alright with just dodging fights where they, you know, don't want to for now. As long as they don't need to take a fight, they're just content with looking for pickoffs, looking for a little bit of split push. Chives, pretending he's a tree. I know you don't get many of them out in the desert, but... That's not what Sanking's for. Resolution just sees Versatile getting back onto the high ground, so he couldn't get there in time for the kill. Item-wise, Resolution, full Hurricane Pike now as well as his BKB. Use that just yet. Kaya on the Storm Spirit. He's the one on the sketch as well. He's actually opted for the Yule Sept BKB boots. Storm. Every rune. Oh, the rune that every storm wants to find. Regeneration. I wonder if he's going to use it offensively or whether it's just like one of those. Eh, I just need the mana. Running low on mana. Nope, going to be zipping himself in. Sketch caught out. Vortex shackle. YS picks himself up. A disco pony. And this is where maybe just the squad don't have the discipline that the storm have. These pickoffs, they're getting caught out in like ones and twos a little bit more than VGA Storm. You know, great start from just a squad, don't get me wrong, great start. But maybe just, like I say, as, just not as focused, or maybe just the discipline isn't there as a team yet. They're a great team, don't get me wrong, sticking together, you know, they're going to be able to do great things. As we saw against Leviathan stack just then. But they are hunting versatile, the TP comes out, the ghost, are they going to be able to get two kills? It looks like just the one. As the Winter's Curse used on YS. And Storm's really not going to be bothered as Resolution was there to help get the kill. Dyer's middle tower SVG does have the clockwork in range if he wants to go for this Fiend's Grip. The trees have been cleared off. He knows evidence there. There's going to be the rocket to scout this one out. Even when coming in to help kill this 
Dime makes his profit in silence, but it doesn't matter. Sprout. Take my advice. Snaking finds an easy kill with the help of SVG that was still trapped in the trees, but the Nightmares are just going to split Earth. The Chicken's going to be coming up with the Diabolic Edict, as well as this Pulse Nova. So they are going to be getting at least a return kill on the side of just a squad. Visibility. Scourge. Oh, he's been seen by Storm. I mean, the Storm was the seen that. Yep, they were trying to use a little bit of a bait as well. A rupture available. Well, there's a BKB, so YS is going to try and carry on going for the Scourge. Needs to run himself away. Has the BKB of his own. But in the end, Storm Spirit. Couldn't get anything with that Invis Rune. Was just scouted out, charged with the reactions to help keep Scourge alive. But as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by someone thinking he could get a kill. Huh. The Bloodseeker going to be going back now. He's got himself the Sacred Relic. And he's not going to be too far behind on the full Radiance. So that does mean sustained fights are going to be a lot harder for VGA Storm to fight into. Just because of the burn damage coming up from the Radiance. And... If they can make the fights last, like I said, just a squad, if they can make those fights carry on, carry on, carry on, they have a way better chance of getting something out of them. Whereas VGA Storm have been putting them to the sword a little bit in the past 10 minutes or so. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Rezo. Just going to go back for a little bit more farm. It's actually going to go for... Is that going to be an F blade coming up from the draft? Oh, Storm. Find the kill on the versatile there. Incoming. If nothing else changes, or if attack. nothing else stays the same. You know, at least we know Versatile likes it. Likes a good death. Storm Spirit's not got a lot of mana left. Is he going to be able to zip himself away from this with it? Well, he's got a BKB up before the Northfire can get up to him. So Storm should be able to get away. The hook misses, charge in the stand Storm. And now the Shackle Sketch pops the BKB. But with two, three heroes around, are they going to be able to get himself out? Right click, Split Earth. Doesn't matter. Wendy picks up the kill and Snaking now. Going to be trying to chase for the Sand King. With the rocket flow, it's going to be spotted as well. Storms gets this arcane rune, dives himself over and chives, just trying to juke, but it doesn't matter. Resolution was already going on to Scourge. And that's the two big cores down on the side of just the squad. Rezo, yeah, it's an F-Blade. I mean, I suppose it's good for the rest of the team, because if you can throw the F-Blade and then... <laughs> What's this, 2-3? Yeah, 3-4 right clicks resolution. Bags himself a dragon. And you're on the bottom lane. Everton gets the silence with the Null Fire onto the Storm Spirit. And then he's going to go for the TP away. And there's nothing the Storm Spirit can do about it. Yeah, so... Resolution throws the Earth Blade down as the Storm Spirit comes in with the remnants with the blast. After you got the damage from the power shot as well as the Banes. So it gives him the bonus. The bonus Agi that he needs as well. What is it like? 40 Agi? Yeah boy. And it's damaging in and of itself. Here are shackles. Yep, snaking. Gonna be able to secure the kill to sketch. DKB has been popped. Did they make anything else trying to happen after this scourge gets caught out? So even with the blade mail resolution just carries on going. Cold embrace. Power shot. Scourge was four stopped. Four staffed out of trouble though. Back up to the high ground. Evident might get caught out here, gets the nullify down, but the hook comes in from the back line. 
And now... Moyes was able to pick up the kill. SVG just keeps all of the spins grip. He's gonna be able to find out. Roshan, two seconds. Someone just needs to go back into the pit. I think it's a little bit of a long one as well. It does come back up now just as Storm have stopped checking. Oh, oh, no, Shackles, never mind. This could be the death, even with the Call and Brace Scourge. With the Karen going versatile. BKB's there and Snaking's just going to run himself away. Drive the wash pit, though. Hook's going to fly through. Versatile just gets himself out of position once again. Winter's cursed, but it's only creeps to take advantage of this. Split Earth comes out afterwards. The Pulse Nova, the Die Ball it, but with this Blade Mail. The right clicks from Resolution as well should be able to get the kill onto Sketch. Snaking stands there, right clicks him down, Scourge though. Gets the return onto Rezo, chases down the pain. And now the Storm Spirit gonna come from the back lines, but Scourge is already away. Evident gets the kill onto the Wing Ranger as well. This is a lot of gold going the way of just a squad. Buyback's being used. The heal goes through. You need to get that Sprout down. The power shot. Why yes, able to pick up that kill, the cons wouldn't have made a difference, and now with the shackle, this could be the death of the tree of the nature's profit. When you strip away his leaves, nature's profit is just plain gnarly. I couldn't have said it any better myself, Storm Spirit. Is that a five for five? No buyback. Okay, that was a buyback. Only the Storm Spirit surviving through that entire fight. And now snaking, maybe waiting to trap anybody unsuspected. It's unsuspectingly going to be walking up to this high ground. But versatile. V is off the other direction. So just the squad holding the ground. You know, it's a great fight. The 13k, I'm pretty sure it was more. Oh, let's take a look at the now. Yeah, just start to climb a little bit back up. Maybe like 16, 17k. Oh, yes. <laughs> Once again, points to Wyvern. 1 and 10. Maybe he's the bait. You know, they think, ah, it's easy. This this uh, versatile. He likes dying. You know, he's an easy pick off. And then, bam, the follow up comes. Well, it didn't come then. As everybody on the side of Storm. Close to this Roshan pair, and it's going to go down so quickly. EGJ with the 16k net worth leap. 12 kills ahead. Maybe that 18k. Just looking to step up now. Maybe take a, a lane of racks with this Aegis going the way of the Storm Spirit. She's onto resolution. Chives. Got out of the trees. The power shot's not going to scout him out. Sam King's not going to show himself either. Just maybe hanging around the back. Maybe comes for a backstab with the epicenter. If there's a fight going to happen. Meanwhile, mid lane. It looks like well, it looks like we're getting a pause. But the Nightmare's there onto the Lushrak Storm. Could be diving in this mid lane. I think it's the hook being... That's not being cast just yet. Could be coming out though. Versatile does have the Winter's Curse. This could be a big turnaround. If... Even the storm throwing the ball lightning there, we see him. He's getting close, he's going for sketch. Can he turn this one around? BKB's gonna be caught. Ginger comes out anyway. Yo, I'm trying to give it a chance to be able to pull back. Kill off Versatile, the right foot's resolution. It's gonna be a double. Could be even be a triple in the base. The ghost ever in the hook's gonna miss, but Scourge with the blade mail. It's gonna be three heroes down on the side of the radiant. And the chase is still on Scourge. He's being revealed now. SVG. Can't get that nightmare off. Just go to the BKB. But back down, Chives. Well, trying to do what he can with the Sandstorm. It's going to be one lane of racks. Could even be two as Resolution just moves to the top. Radiant structures are fortified. Trying to split this one out now, VGJ Storm. And I don't think just the squad have a rebuttal. There's no buybacks available. 
They're looking for resolution, they're looking for the kill, but it's going to be Storm Spirit diving once again with the Blade Mail. Can they find it? The drag back, and now the Blade Mail does wear off. Chives, she's going to be eaten. And Droughts, SVG finds a kill. This is going to be four, four heroes down on the side of the Radiant. Just a squad does come close to being kicked out of the third game. Well, Shrak is going to be back up in a couple of seconds though. This is going to be Mega Creeps. Tier 4 Sketch just calls the GG. Yeah, even Burstar comes and gets a Winter's Curse. Gets a decent Winter's Curse. That was cancelled off by the F Blade. So 37 minutes, 36 seconds in with a 31k net worth 